In a psychological sense, defensiveness refers to both feeling and behavior. When you feel someone is being critical of you, which might result in feeling shame, sadness and anger, a person with defensive behavior tends to lash out at another person to shift their focus away and try to make excuses for their actions or explain why something happened which isn't clearly their fault which will work as a coping strategy to protect their character and sense of competence. We see this behavior mostly in our important relationships such as romantic, friendship, families and even within a workplace. So what is the psychology behind defensiveness? According to psychologist, defensiveness can take on many forms and these are often called defense mechanism in the psychology world. In addition, before we judge someone for being defensive, we need to remember that everyone has defense mechanism because it is our primitive part of social development. Where this is mainly seen in toddlers when they run away to avoid a bath time, thinking it is a perceived threat even though logically it is not. But for mind of 2 year old, they view it as a something they don't want to do. And that shows people usually start engaging in defense behavior in early stages of their lives. And as we get older, we get better at our defense mechanism. And common defensive mechanisms are trying to pass the blame, taking a victim role, denial, avoidance, or acting out. But the basic question we need to ask ourselves is why does defensive behavior happen? Usually one of the reasons someone is being defensive is to protect their ego and character because being defensive is a way to feel more powerful because they feel they are good, intelligent and likable person and they want others to think the same. And knowing someone is disagreeing with their opinion and viewpoint, they become defensive. One thing to remember is that the person who shows defensiveness isn't doing it for malicious reasons because sometimes they want to justify actions and decisions they have made which had personal reasons behind it. In short, defense mechanisms are often rooted in our painful experiences in a way that prevents us from communicating effectively which can affect all our relationships. But in reality, this behavior isn't entirely avoidable because people are imperfect and impulsive communicator and that's why we naturally react in different ways. However, if you want to have a positive relationship at home, at work, and in social situations, try becoming aware of your own natural defense mechanisms and try building empathy towards someone who's being defensive towards you.